Hi, my name is Jake and I'm a motion designer from Ukraine, that's why I have this weird accent. And now we will make this effect. We will not use any external plugins for this effect, not even green screen or rotoscoping. You will need only camera, tripod and any version of After Effects. I decided to make this effect on lowest budget possible. If you're shooting wedding videos, you might be interested in purchasing this After Effects template. It has 12 opening titles, 25 unique light leaks with different color presets and also pre-made wedding slideshow. All is in one template, link is in description. Also, for Valentine's Day, I have romance slideshow for your photos and videos. You can choose between three types of heart shapes as well as changing colors. Link is in description also. And now, back to the tutorial. Let's get started. I need to say that my tutorials are pretty fast. And I assume that you are having basic knowledge of After Effects. But I also believe that even beginners can follow along with this tutorial. Just make sure to pause this video more often to keep up with all information. If you will repeat all steps carefully, you will get same result for sure. So I have this footage right here. I want to make this punch a lot more dynamic. Let's start here. Select our layer and press Ctrl Shift D on keyboard. Now let's see where our punch is over. Like here. Ctrl Shift D on keyboard. Right mouse click on this layer and go to time time stretch set it to 25 let's duplicate this layer press ctrl d on keyboard at very end of this layer right mouse click and go to time freeze frame and drag it over here let's see preview okay it looks good now let's work on our soul i drag my footage on this icon here to make a new composition so as you can see i don't use green screen but you need to shoot your video in place where no one's moving. Also, you need to shoot from tripod. And even light should not be changed. Here I'm trying to simulate like I'm flying out from my body. About here I'm stopping. So let's press Ctrl D on keyboard. And also you need to shoot your background like this. Go to time, freeze frame. Drag this below, select this layer. Ctrl D on keyboard to duplicate and go to time, time stretch. Here let's set it to minus 25 and drag it over here. So we should have something like this. I'm flying out and flying back. We can also select both of these layers. Go to time, enable time remapping. Select layer here, create new keyframe and press F9 on keyboard. Then select this layer, create keyframe and press F9 on keyboard again. Excellent. Now select one of these layers, go to Effect, Keying, Difference Math. Here we are selecting our layer below, this layer, with our clean plate. Shut this layer off. Let's make sure that our hands are still in place. It looks ok. Go to Effect, Mat, Mat Choker. Here we need to change first two values. Now it looks much better. We can also right mouse click on this layer and go to layer, inner glow. I scroll down here, set it blend mode to multiply, opacity to 100, color to black and size let's set it to 4. So by using this inner glow and matte shocker we need to clean our edges. Let's also copy these effects, Control C on keyboard, select this layer, Control V to paste, copy layer styles, Control C on keyboard and paste on this layer. Let's go back to our main comp. I call it main. This we will call soul. Let's drag our soul composition into our main composition. Let's try to match our position and move anchor point right here by using this pen behind tool. As you can see we need to make this layer size bigger. So press S on keyboard to bring up the scale. Make sure your size is matching. Now we can start animating. Press P and R on keyboard, set keyframes, let's find the moment where I stop and now we can animate. I'll drag it over here, rotation set it to minus 90, now we can drag by these handles to make this shape and then copy these keyframes, 
Control C on keyboard and Control V to paste. Hold Alt on keyboard and drag by these handles to repeat this shape. Now select these both keyframes, open graph editor and press on this icon here and drag by these handles like this, first and second. Great, let's cut this layer, let's match our punch here. It looks pretty good but we have one problem. It does look like I am standing on the ground, so we need to make some adjustments to this foot right here. Select mask and draw some circle like this. Open here, set it to inverted and feather to about 15. Select this layer, Ctrl D on keyboard to make a copy. Press M on keyboard to bring up the mask and click on this checkbox here. Then right mouse click on this layer and go to time freeze frame. And let's make some adjustments to this mask. Let's also drag it below, then press U on keyboard. We need to delete these keyframes, then choose pen behind tool and move our anchor point right here. Select this layer above, press U on keyboard and move your time cursor to these keyframes. Now let's animate our rotation of our foot. Create keyframe, then by using this pick whip you need to parent to this layer above. Then move it over, here create another keyframe and here as well. At this point we need to rotate this a bit, like this. Let's move it over here. Then select this keyframe, go to graph editor and click on easy ease. And also drag by these handles. Now as you can see it looks more natural. Excellent. Now we can select these both layers and press on motion blur here and activate it here. Now let's precompose these both layers. Go to layer, precompose and click on this checkbox here. I'll call it Soul Animation. Ok, now we need to slow down this animation. Right mouse click on this layer and go to Time, Time Stretch and set it to 150. Ok, and now let's time it again. Let's make it a little bit longer. Now it looks ok, now let's animate opacity. Select our layer. Press T on keyboard, set it to 0 and create keyframe. And about here let's set it to 100. Here again set a keyframe and set it to 0. Now click on this toggle switch and set it to screen. Go to effect, color correction, curves. Our goal to make this ghost like. Now let's make an adjustment layer. Go to layer, new, adjustment layer. I'll call it vignette. Let's select ellipse tool and draw this shape. Then click on this checkbox here, go to Effect, Color Correction, Curves. And let's change our feather like this. Now we can see our soul a little bit better. Now let's animate our vignette, press T on keyboard, set a keyframe and here set it to 0. We can cut this layer, then here let's set keyframe and here again to 0. And now we have this animation. Let's add some shock wave. Go to layer, new, adjustment layer. Then go to effect, distort, bulge. Here at the beginning, set it right here. Let's create keyframes on these values. I'll set it to 0.2. Then press U on keyboard. And here let's change these values, like this. And set bulge height to 0. Cut this layer to this moment. Now we have this shock wave. And let's also add some light. Go to layer, new, solid. Call it light, make it black, ok. Go to effect, generate, lens flare. Go to effect, color correction, tint. And also let's add some blur. Go to blur and sharpen, fast blur. And set it to add. Let's move it over here and blur it a bit. Let's create a keyframe, click here. Press U on keyboard and a little further, let's set it to about 700. Also press T on keyboard, set a keyframe and about here set it to 0. Now we have this light. Let's also duplicate this layer, Ctrl D on keyboard, set it to add and here press T on keyboard, delete these keyframes, set a new keyframe and later set it to 0. Now it looks more exciting. Now let's select this layer below with blending mode screen, press Ctrl D on keyboard. Now we are going to create soul trail. Cut this layer to this moment and go to time, freeze frame. Press T on keyboard, delete all these keyframes, create new one, 
set it to 55 and here to 0. And here let's set it to 0 as well. Also press P on keyboard, create new keyframe and move it over like this. So we have this little movement. Also press R on keyboard, create new keyframe at the beginning and later rotate it. Let's also go to effect, blur and sharpen, fast blur. Set it to horizontal and set it to about 21. Add some turbulent displays. Sides set it to 35. Press and hold Alt on keyboard and click on this evolution. Type here time, multiply, 500. Now we have these little waves. We can also copy this layer, Control D on keyboard, drag it over here and go to time, enable timing. Then go to time, freeze frame. Press U on keyboard to see our keyframes and drag them over. Let's also select these both layers and drag it below. Let's see result. If you want, you can make more copies. Sure, you can use rotoscoping or green screen for better keying. In this tutorial, I showed you that you have another really fast way. Of course, it's not the best way, but it's good to know different techniques. I tested this technique to make this effect, and I was surprised how well it worked and how little time I spent. Literally, it would take only 3 minutes to make this effect. Not the best quality, but still looks pretty fun. If you want to support this channel, you can check out my portfolio and find for yourself cool looking templates. I have a bunch of all kinds After Effects projects. Link is in description. I hope you like this effect. Uh, make sure to subscribe to see more. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.